so this is a massive, massive, massive obsession of mine. It's been an obsession for a long time. And anyone who knows me has been bored to death by it for a long time. But I'm, I'm ready to release it in the big wide world. You know, okay, so like 20 years ago, I found a book in the London Library, in the bowels of the London Library, a book um, just like this, propping up a water pipe. And I pulled it down and I read it. And it was called The Narrative of Robert Adams. And you can see here, if you can zoom in, this is another copy. The, narr the full title is The Narrative of Robert Adams, a sailor who was wrecked on the western coast of Africa in the year 1810, was de detained three years in slavery by the Arabs of the Great Desert and resided several months in the city of Timbuktu. Tombuk there are different spellings, and here they use Tombuktu. And it was published by John Murray, who were actually one of my publishers, in, in London in 1816. I became fascinated by this book, and I ended up writing um, a novel based on it. And my novel is called simply Timbuktu. And this is the story of an illiterate American sailor called Robert Adams who was shipwrecked on the west coast of Africa in 1810, as the title of the original book suggests. And at a time when all the European powers were trying to get a white man, what they called a Christian, to Timbuktu and back, a city that they believed was crafted from beginning to end in pure gold. At that time, Robert Adams, illiterate and um, shipwrecked, found that he was, he was shipwrecked on the west coast of Africa, taken as a slave to Timbuktu. And in chains and naked, he arrived at the city and was given to the king of Timbuktu. Um, and after incredible adventures and trials and tribulations, he was redeemed. Someone paid his ransom and he arrived uh, in London, half naked and starving. And I've got here, in, the, in this original edition, they've got the, the route that Robert Adams took, I don't know if you can see that. This is the west coast of, of Africa with Morocco up here. Casablanca, which isn't even marked, is there. Mogador, which is also called Essaouira here. And so Robert Adams was shipwrecked here on the really bleak West African coast, Capo Blanco. And the blue line is his, his trail. And he was taken eventually to Timbuktu and then back into the Sahara where he, he underwent terrible, terrible, terrible ordeals and eventually arrived in, in London. And this was a time when there were thousands, thousands of white Europeans and Americans enslaved in the desert. And I found this in a, in a, um, in a junk shop. Um, it's, it says, there's a picture and it says, the Algerine method of executing a Christian for attempting to escape from slavery. And this is from the 1780s, I think. There's a picture of someone incredibly um, handsome and a white guy, incredibly handsome and muscular, being crucified by his foot and by his hand with Arabs looking on. Um, so my book, Timbuktu, my book, Timbuktu, is really trying to pull people into the life and the ordeal of Robert Adams and to show that someone in un with unbelievable odds stacked against them, someone like that could survive and, and his story could live on.